I was my father's favorite, but little did I know. My life would take a dramatic turn. I shared my dreams with those close to me. They were my brothers, but they did not take it well. Here comes the dreamer. Let's see what becomes of his dreams. I pleaded, please don't do this. I was betrayed and abandoned by my brothers. But God's hand was upon me. I was sold as a slave to Potiphar, the captain of the guard. In Potiphar's house, all seemed to be going well. I honored God and worked hard. Favor surrounded me as I became chief of Potiphar's possessions. But the story was about to take another turn. Potiphar's wife took a liking to me. I continually turned down her advances. A moment of pleasure was not worth the sacrificing my relationship with God. As she insisted I stay, she tore my garment as I fled. If my hope had not been in God, all would have been lost. Even in prison, the hand of God raised me up. I brought hope to the hopeless, and it was there I interpreted the dreams of pharaohs, butler, and baker. For the baker, it did not fare well, but the cupbearer returned to serving Pharaoh. In the course of time as God ordained, Pharaoh had a dream that disturbed him. It foretold of seven years of plenty followed by seven years of famine, but the meaning was withheld from Pharaoh. No one could tell him what it meant. The cupbearer remembering me told of a man who can interpret dreams. Pharaoh could find no one more suitable to oversee all of Egypt through the years ahead. From the prison to second in command of all of Egypt, second only to Pharaoh. The dreams which had me thrown in the pit by my brothers were coming to fruition. God had redeemed my life from the pit. He crowned me with loving kindness and tender mercies. He had taught me to forgive my brothers and in the course of time my father and my brothers were reunited with me. The plan of God for his chosen people, the nation of Israel was just beginning. The whole video you just saw was created with four AI tools today in just a few hours. Those four AI tools, I'm going to take you through them now. First, we're going to go into ChatGPT. Secondly, into Kling AI to create the videos from text prompts. And then into Suno to create the music which was playing in the background. And then finally into Eleven Labs where we created the narrative voiceover. Let's get into the first tool right now, ChatGPT. So the first thing I did inside of ChatGPT is ask it to come up with a short narrative based on the biblical story of Joseph. And as you can see here, I broke it down into different scenes, starting with Joseph when he was favoured by his father, living at home with his brothers in his multicoloured coat, and finishing at the end of the story where he's reunited with his father in Egypt. The next step in the process, based on that script, I asked ChatGPT to help me to create the prompts for text-to-video for Kling AI. One of the things I asked ChatGPT to do was to make sure to include the character prompt in every single prompt because I'm not working from image to video, I'm working from text to video. I needed to make sure that it gave a consistent character prompt to give a similarity of character for Joseph throughout the whole story. It's not perfect, but there is a fairly strong similarity in the characters throughout the story. Also, I wanted each prompt to have a consistent look to it. So I gave it an image that I had from a video prompt that I'd made in the past based on Egypt and Joseph's story and asked it to make all the prompts adhere to that same kind of style. And here we are in Kling AI. And all we need to do is basically paste the video prompt, text to video prompt into the top box here. Next you go down and you've got the option of creativity or relevance. You don't really need to touch that. You can choose professional mode and you can choose 10 seconds and you want it in landscape. And I did a couple of generations for each shot. So I'd have a couple of choices. The other thing is I had it set to Kling 1.5 the first time I did this and Kling 1.6 is now out, which is a better version of Kling AI. So I got generations for Kling 1.5 and 1.6. And actually in the video, I mixed up some of the generations from 1.5 and some from 1.6 because 1.5 did some of them better 
and 1.6 did some of them better. Once you've clicked generate, you'll have to wait a certain amount of time for King AI to make the video. And if you have the subscription mode in professional mode, it will be a bit quicker than if you don't. And then the process is the same for doing all of the rest of the scenes. You just copy and paste in all of the different prompts for the different scenes and click generate. Now, if any of the scenes are not exactly what you want, you can click to generate even more generations because each time it generates, it's going to generate slightly differently. You can also make adjustments to the prompt based on the output that you get to get that perfect output that you're looking for. One of the cool things about Kling AI when you're in professional mode is that you can create all of the scenes at one time. You can copy and paste in all of these scenes and then let Kling AI get on with it. So then when you come back about 10, 20 minutes later, all of your scenes are ready to check through and download the ones you want to use. For the music, I went back to ChatGPT and I asked it to help me create prompts for the different scenes of the Joseph story that I could use in Suno AI, where you have a 200 character limit. Then I basically copied and pasted all of those prompts into Suno and gave them a title based on the first couple of words of each of those prompts. Suno is extremely quick. You copy and paste in all of them and within about a minute or less, you've got all of your video, all of your audio tracks ready. And it's incredibly fun to just listen to all of the different audio tracks because Suno creates incredible music. So next we're gonna go into 11 Labs to do the voiceover. So when you're in 11 Labs, you just click go to app. Then inside of there, you've got the text to speech on the left hand side here. And this is where you can type in and put exactly what you want the voice to generate. At the top left here, you'll have the choice for voices and you can choose the voices that you want to use. One of the voices I used here was Exandia. Once you've got the voice you want to use, you go into text to speech and you just copy and paste in any of the words that you want the narration to speak there. I made up a lot of the narration myself and didn't follow the script exactly as ChatGPT put it. Instead, I used my knowledge of the story of Joseph and checked a few references and made sure I got it correct according to the Bible story as accurately as I could and told the story as if it was Joseph telling the story. It was incredibly fun to make and I hope that you enjoyed the video as much as I did in making it. Well once all of that was in place I lined up all the clips on the timeline inside of CapCut, all the video clips and I put the music down and I worked my way through adding in the narration and the clips until I had the finished video as you can see on the timeline here. If you want a more in-depth tutorial on how to do CapCut, let me know in the comments below and I can do a tutorial on how to use CapCut and to put all the edit together. Well, that was it. After I put it into CapCut and edit it all together, I just clicked export and the video was done. And then it was on to making this tutorial that you're watching now. I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial and you found it very helpful and it's shown you how to easily make your own videos using AI tools. On this channel, you'll find more tutorials and tips on how to use the latest AI tools for content creators. And if you'd like to watch some of those videos, they're here now and here now. Let me know in the comments below any questions you have, and I'll see you in the next video.